Boss Spaceman back with another PvP episode of a Dungeon Boss. I have just unlocked the Furnace character, which is the brand new legendary character. Um, my first PvP battle was, was an epic fail. I mean, I got rocked. Five ways to Sunday. And uh, it was not fun. The special ability that I was really hoping was going to be exciting was more or less a major letdown. I'm still getting used to the character. Maybe you got to wait until he's on the brink of uh, exhaustion like the Sumi character because his um, attack really gets powerful the closer to death he gets. And I also realized that in PvP it's not smart to do the taunt because his defense isn't all that high. His health is pretty high, but his defense isn't all that high. So before I could get out a massive attack, uh, I was killed. So, it's pretty anticlimactic. So, I'm going to go with a different lineup here. I got Rogar still, but I'm going to go with uh, the, uh, where'd he go? The dude with the scary teeth. Um, I forget where his name is. And then Torchy, which is the bat. So, let's go ahead and get this shindig underway. And uh, hopefully, I have a better chance at victory. Um, perhaps knowing how to use uh, the furnace character a little bit better this time. I have to wait until he gets boiled up, apparently, to uh, really do some some damage. So I did do the first level ascension. I did get him to level 62, so he should be decent. But um, I haven't used normal attack of his yet. I've only used the uh, the furnace thing. And let's see how this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's silence Sumi just so I don't get all my characters attacked. And let's see if I get to use the furnace here. See, now none of their red characters see are, have attacked him. So this thing right here is under pressure. Pressure's low, so I'm guessing that's not going to do much damage. And the Stoke the Boiler thing gets him killed in no time. So I'm just going to do a regular old attack and see where it gets me. So that hit all the characters. Um, it set Sumi on fire. So that wasn't too bad. But it wasn't spectacular. Not like I expected from a brand new legendary character. So Sumi's gone. Uh, I'm getting assassinated left and right. And all I have left is my bat and the boiler guy, which doesn't seem to be dishing out too much uh, damage here. So I took out their assassin. Um, I got pressure increase, but it doesn't increase too fast because right now it's still pressure low. And I believe it can't heal the character. So um, you better have some more special abilities than uh they're showing me because right now he's pretty weak so let's see if i can uh i can get through this battle here all right so i have normal pressure so let's see what this does the uh, last time i attacked with low pressure now i'm gonna attack with normal pressure and i hope it does some major damage because so far it's been kind of disappointing Alright, so 360, um, wow, that is, uh, disappointing to say the least. I don't know what he does, oops, I don't know what he does when he has high pressure, but right now, he's, uh, just wasting my resources and my time, and he just died, and if I take out this character, if I don't die, it's because the rest of my team was strong, and... The boiler guy, the furnace, whatever y'all call him, is being super, super let down. He's level 62. I know he's only three stars. Um, he's got his first ascension. I try to max out his abilities, uh, however much gold that I had. So it's like level 45 and uh, two level 30 skills, which isn't bad. But um, he's been a major letdown in PvP so far. So I'll come back. I'll show y'all another video in uh, campaign mode. Hopefully he's better in campaign mode or maybe even uh, the tower. He Maybe he's not constructed for PvP battle. Who knows? But you've been watching The Spaceman. Follow me on Twitter at The Spaceman Live.